Cloud Under Disaster Recovery, Mass Failback Automation. This video demonstrates how to use the Cloud Endure Mass Failback Automation Client, or CEPHA, to failback multiple vCenter v6.7 and 7.0 machines at the same time. For this demo, we have three virtual machines, which are located in our on-premises VMware data center. These are the original source machines, that were replicated with Cloud Endure Disaster Recovery, and then recovered on AWS during a disaster event. You can see these three recovered machines now, running natively on the Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, or EC2 console. We will be using the Cepha client to automate the failback steps to recover back to our on-premises data center. First, we need to create a VMware user in the on-premises vCenter environment, which the Cepha client uses to automate the VMware actions required for failback. In this example, we have a user called Cepha user with the permission shown on the screen, assigned via a role assignment. You can get more information about user roles by visiting the Cloud Endure documentation and searching for Cepha. We have also downloaded the latest Cloud Endure Disaster Recovery Failback client from the URL displayed, and uploaded it to the VMware Data Store. An Ubuntu server has been deployed within our VMware Data Center. This is where we will install, configure, and run the Cepha client. This server must run Python 2.7 with pip installed. Python 3.0 or other versions of Python are not supported. Now that we've handled the prerequisites, we're ready to download the Cepha client. Install it using the supplied shell script. If prompted, enter the sudo password. Once the installation is complete, change into the newly created scalable failback directory. Here you will find the components of the Cepha client. When executing the Cepha client, a number of parameters must be provided, such as the vCenter configuration information, and your Cloud Endure API token. Here you can see an example run command. Now we will execute the Cepha client, passing the parameters that are unique to our environment. From the Cepha client menu, select one-click failback. Search for, and select the Cloud Endure disaster recovery project you wish to fail back. In this example, we will select the Cepha lab project. The Cloud Endure Disaster Recovery project must be in prepare for failback mode to succeed. If it is not already in this mode, we can change it via the Cepha client, or within the Cloud Endure console. If you have previously executed the Cepha client to initiate failback for the selected project, you may be asked if you wish to restart replication for all machines, or skip machines that have already started replication. Here we select restart replication on every machine. The failback replication process has now been initiated for all three machines in the Cephalab project. We can see within the vCenter environment that the source VMs have been powered off, the failback client has been attached, and the VMs have been powered back on. Once this process is complete, the failback client will pair with the corresponding recovery instance in AWS, and replication will be reversed. Replication back to the on-premises source machines is initiated from the source machine, toward the recovery instance. Only the delta changes are replicated back to the source machines. The Cepha client will report the status on screen, and to a JSON output file within the scalable failback directory. Here we can see that the process was successful. Monitor the replication status of the machines from the Cloud Endure console. After machines reach continuous data protection mode, we are able to fail back to our vCenter environment and then finalize the failback process. You can visit the Cloud Endure Disaster Recovery listing on the AWS Marketplace to learn more and get started.